Welcome to Code with Vinod. In this video, we will learn how we can upload a text file to S3 bucket. After then, we will learn how we can uh, read or access the same file uh, using lambda function. And uh, after then, we will see how we can access uh, the same file uh, using API Gateway on browser with the help of lambda function. So let's start step by step. So first of all, let me go on my browser. So here uh, means uh, first step is we will create our uh, bucket. So my bucket. So we, I will give some unique name. So my bucket and today's date twenty six one zero one two three. And here we can specify the region. So I will keep the as it is with all existing uh, functionality. So my bucket is created. So let's go inside the bucket and we will upload upload the file. So here uh, by clicking on this button add file we can upload the file. So before that let's create a file on notepad so this is our example to upload a text file so we can uh, write anything for testing so let me save it on any location in my computer So I'm saving it inside a unique directory. Yes, this one. Test. So we have saved uh, this file. So let me browse inside AWS and this one. and upload so our text file is uploading and after that we have successfully uploaded so now let's create our uh, AWS uh, lambda function so let me give new instance and search lambda so I will create lambda function and I am creating from the scratch and here I will give the give my lambda function name my lambda for s3 so we can give any name and I'm using uh, Python and uh, lambda provides us the so many languages but I will use Python and create the function So this is our lambda function is created. So let's test. So we can give any test. So let me save this and test. So our test is working correctly, but still we are not able to get the data from S3 bucket. So let's check. How we can we can do so firstly let me configure the role so for this role is required to get the data from s3 bucket so click on permission and we will edit the role 
so i will use an existing role so i have created full access s3 bucket or we can give the read only access as well so on i am role we can create role uh, has but be requiring let's say we are uh, getting the data from any uh, resources like s3 bucket or any dynamo db so now i have uh, configured the role and then come back on code so here we will use some configure code so i'm already having some code and i will explain step by step so this is uh, completely python based code and we will use boto3 uh, python library to access the s3 bucket after then we will give lambda handler function and inside this we have two parameters event and context so with the help of these two we will get all the information uh, regarding the lambda function or we will get the release re uh, information regarding event so here uh, we have bucket and key so key will be our file name and bucket will be the bucket name so here i will give hardly means static name of our lambda uh, sorry bucket name and and, and 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 text file name so let me go back and our bucket name is this and file name is test.txt and then i will deploy now i will click on test so here is error calling get operation specify key does not exist no such key so let me check the file name again so text.txt and we have given test so it is text deploy and test so now we can see we are able to get the data from our test file which we have already created so now we will see how we can pass the parameters let's say bucket name and text uh, uh, key name uh, from browser or from uh, means testing so for this we will create configure the same uh, testing same test case so here we will pass the dictionary with the help of bucket is equal to bucket name and we will use key as a file name so file name was text.txt and then save and uh, here we will use we will get all these things from the event so this is the dictionary and we will use the key bucket and for a uh, key we will use the same key and comment out the rest deploy and test syntax error invalid lambda function okay so here we have some issue so let me remove these lines so we have comment out multiple times so there could be issue let's save it and run 
so now we are able to uh, pass the parameter from the uh, uh, testing so same thing we will use in api gateway so let's create a api gateway so also we can uh, add the uh, any trigger let's say by clicking on add trigger so we have all these thing api gateway and other services but we will uh, create uh, explicitly uh, uh, api gateway service from api gateway interface so let me make another instance then api gateway so i will create new api and i will use rest api and here i will give my api my s3 test api test and we will create and now we will create the resources so in resources we can give any resource type i am giving here transaction then create resource and on transaction i will play, create the uh, method so we will use get method here because we want to get the data uh, from text file which is inside the s3 bucket and here uh, we can use any kind of but here we are using a lambda function so i will give the lambda function name so our lambda function is go back and functions so our lambda function name is this and i will give here then save we are giving the permission to invoke the lambda function so lambda function is created so we have method request integration request so we will discuss about this later so firstly we will check the test so now it is giving the error bucket and key error so we need to create bucket and key so for this we will create these query string so let's go back and then get so inside this method request we will create query string and click here first is bucket and then required and validator we will use query string parameter header another uh, uh, parameter is key so we have created bucket and key then go back and test and here we will pass our params like this so my bucket name is this and key name is file name text file name then check let me copy this for later testing purpose Okay, still we are having the error now we are passing okay content type is required so let's declare the content type click on integration request and here we will map
add mapping so we will give the application json type yes we will secure this integration and here we will give our uh, json type parameters so let's check how we can give on google so thing is generate template generate template in api gateway mapping so on aws it provides us the dictionary kind of thing how we can pass or get the parameter so we will use this uh, kind of dictionary and here we will give our uh, key and value name so our first key is bucket and we will get the data from the bucket as well and then key and input is let me copy the same and save and the key it's, it's done so let's check the other check again test and bucket name is this text this is not correct i think we will use we will copy the exact bucket name and key name text dot txt and then test so again we are having yeah now we are able to get the data so now we will see how we can get the data from the api gateway endpoint url so for this uh, we will copy this so it will helpful for again uh, for us when we will use browser let me keep it here so for this we need to uh, deploy this api so stays and dev we can give any description or we can keep it blank so now uh, api gateway has given us the send point authentication uh, missing authentication token okay if i use this and then check now we can see we are able to get the data uh, from the text file so this is for uh, this lecture so if you have any issue please comment me in comment section thanks for watching please subscribe